Good call, dude. Good call. I'm actually trying to figure out if uh, I think the game capture would not work. So we're going to try the uh, display capture here. What are you doing? Is it? There we go. Yeah, we're going to give this a shot here and see. Okay. Okay, I do believe that it will work. I think now we can come over here. We can go here. We can go here. I guess my hotkeys don't work anymore. Probably because I have studio mode on. There we go. There's that, and then there's that. Sweet. Alright. Um, yeah, dude. I didn't even know it was Doom at first. I thought it was still the fucking uh, Somerset. I thought it was still Somerset. I, I wasn't understanding that they're, they're transitions. So I was like, oh damn. This Somerset looks, looks fucking dark. This looks really dark. And then they're like, yeah, tell. I was like, oh, <laughs> I get it. I was like, I get it. Yeah, I watched, uh... I wasn't really planning on watching Microsoft, but, um... What's Her Nuts kind of talked me into it. Um... Uh, Kenzie. Kenzie kind of walked me, or talked me into it, so... What the fuck? Oh, are there three? Ah. Okay, whatever. We'll just go on this side. I don't give a shit. <laughs> um, yeah, so I don't know. I just kind of was watching everything, and I think Forza looks awesome. Um, I got fucking goosebumps, man. What's her? Yeah, Kenzie's what's her nuts. <laughs> yeah, she like. Well, I woke up and uh, and her and I were talking, and I was like, "Oh shit! Like, are you getting like get?" She's been talking about getting like on this better sleep schedule, you know. And so I was like, "All right, cool. You're gonna get on your better sleep schedule." And she's like, "Ah, uh, you know, I don't know." She's like, I might stay up because of the Microsoft and Halo. And I was like, oh, okay. And can I fucking... What is strong? Oh, strong heals you. Okay, that's good to know. Um, but she's like, I might stay on for Halo and Microsoft. And I was like, eh, whatever. And then just... Man, I was just excited. Just excited. Watching it. Um... Put that speedy ring on somewhere. There we go. What does that do? Agility and defense power both go up. That's cool. That's cool. We can do. We cannot do a chop board. Okay. All right. Cool. So let's. I'm pretty new to this game. This is my second dungeon. Spell maxim strong boom. Good enough. How do we get to that second fucking treasure chest back there, bud? I see there's like a, a hidden room back in here somewhere. But I thought Forza looked really cool. And, um, what else looked really cool? Yeah, it's gotta suck, man. Like, she has like all of her friends, right? That she like wants to come play with all of us. Like, it's you, she's been mentioning, especially as far as the, uh, like the long stream that you guys did the other day. You know, and she's like, oh, well, you know. Uh, she's, like, it just doesn't work for her schedule to, like, you know, be on the same as us. She's, like, what, like, 14, 15 hours off from us or some shit? Like, oh, there we go. That's how we get in that bitch. Found Miracle. Okay, alright, good enough. So, 
But yeah, I thought... Like, I don't know, Halo, I'm not all that excited about. I don't really care. I haven't really cared about Halo that much. I'm not really all that excited about Gears of War. What's that? Shadow Shadows Die Twice, whatever the hell that game is. I mean, it kind of looks cool, I guess, but, like, I don't really give a shit. Um, oh, there we go. Lake Cave number three, huh? What the fuck? Create a triangle pointing upward? Well, oh, you fucks. You ready for this? I don't really understand. You can't... It was three, three, five, one, right? So three... Oh, this is easy. This is easy. This is easy. I got this shit. I ain't no bitch. I was like, I know we can't be moving that stuff over there. Okay, so there, and then there, and then suck it. Open your damn door. Open sesame. Oh, what's up? What you got? The lake key! Alright, that's why we came in here. So that's good. There's not a big boss, though. That's kind of interesting. Can we move these things? Okay. Is it going to be a big boss when we walk out? Huh? Gonna catch us off guard? Catch us unawares? Okay, so we, we, we haven't gone this way. Or this is where we came from. This is where we came from. I don't know, man. What was your favorite game? What are you most excited for? And, well, did you... Have you have you caught anything yet? I mean, I imagine you... Yeah, Cyberpunk... I don't know, man. Like... I've been telling Winston Mars about Cyberpunk 2077 for, like, a year now. I've been like, you gotta check this out, you gotta check this out, it's gonna be cool. Like, all kinds of sweet fucking screenshots coming out, because, like, we're big into Cyberpunk, you know? I mean, the video just didn't wow me. They made it sound like the video wowed them. It didn't wow me. I don't know, man. Like the, what was it, the Ori and the whatever the fuck? And the Wisp? Ori and the Wisp or whatever? That looked just like trying to me. I mean, now that that's a bad thing. It looked like a gorgeous game. I'm kind of confused. How do I get that door open? I forget. I have to, oh, I have to kill everybody in the screen, I think. Oh, I've been I've been waiting for it, and so to me it didn't look. Now, when the dude's taking like bullets to the face, Cuphead DLC, see, I, I haven't played Cuphead yet, so I don't. I'm so confused on what to do right now. <clears throat> I haven't actually played Cuphead yet. Um, I might, I might try it. I don't know if there are different difficulties or not, but like for me, like maybe I'd want to experience it like on easy mode. But it looks pretty hard. I don't know if there's an easy mode or not. It looks pretty hard. I'll tell you right now, dude, I get real racist real quick when it comes to Assassin's Creed. When that parkour system sucks and it pisses me off, dude, I get nasty. So I'm really hesitant to actually play any Assassin's Creed games on Twitch and stream it. And I feel like a game like Cuphead that is like designed to piss you off as well might not work. Might not be good for me. There's gotta be a way to get in that door. I just kind of for not really thinking of like what it would be. Oh, we can fall on the dam. There we go. That's what it is. <laughs> we have to. Yeah, we have to hit the thing harder. Like right here. Boom. There we go. Get let me in there, bitch. What's in here?
Doom I don't care all that much about. Um, I'm kind of getting like worn out-ish on Doom. I don't know. Um, it's just, it's been around for so long. You know what I mean? And, uh, like this? Does that work? It does not work. Okay. Can we? I think I gotta hit the reset. You did beat it though? Hmm, alright. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I'm not sure, bud. I am not sure. It looks cool. I would, probably I would I'd probably rather just watch somebody beat it. I'd probably just rather watch somebody else stream it. Is really what it boils down to, I think. Probably gonna kill this damn frog. Unlock the door. Oh, never mind. I'm dumb. Let's just see what happens. Okay. We get totally rocked. <laughs> if we just do that. So let's use an item. Okay. Let's go in here. I'm trying to think of like what else was released at, at E3. Because we should... like This is definitely some good conversation that could be had here. Um, I, I watched it. I watched all 50 games, you know. I would say only about 10% of it am I like, excited about. Whoops. Okay. Like, Session, I don't care about a skateboard game, really. Uh, I don't really care about Kingdom Hearts, because I have never played any of them. I really want to, but I have yet to... I've yet to actually do it. I don't care about Halo Infinite. Ori, I don't care about. Fallout 76, that was cool. It gave me goosebumps. Sekiro Shadows Die Twice, it does look pretty neat or whatever, but I could care less about Captain Spirit. Like I said, Forza Horizon 4, I'll probably pick that up. Game Pass, I don't really know about that. I don't really know about them uh, acquiring all these companies. Now, they're saying they acquired five companies, Microsoft Studios. So does that mean like Rare was already in Microsoft Studios and now they've added in Compulsion, Ninja Theory... Playground Games, Undead Labs, and The Initiative. Is that what that means when it has like the five or the six and then the five listed up underneath it? Because I kept seeing them show that Microsoft Studios banner, but it had um, 11 studios underneath it. So all of those studios must all be Microsoft Studios is my guess. I don't know. Uh, the Division 2, you know what? The Division, the Division looked like a very good game. And then I played it and I got to the level cap and I just couldn't care less about it. It was... It's almost like when you put levels in games like that and you make you make it a race to get to the level cap, I, it's so hard to read through the story. Like when you got three of your buddies with you, you're just trying to rip through like you've only got two hours to play before like someone's has to like put their kid down for the night or like before their wife wants them to go do something or before they have to go to bed for work in the morning, whatever it is, you have two hours and you want to get as much done as you can. <coughs> So, like, you're not really paying attention to the story. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I think... I, well, I mean, they said they added five, and I'm pretty sure they've already had Rare for a long time. And they've obviously had Minecraft for a while. Uh, Devil May Cry, I've never cared about that game at all. Gears 5, I've only beat Gears 1. So I don't know much. Just Cause 4, I played Just Cause 1, or I think I played Just Cause 2, actually. That game is too big and too boring. Battletoads, I'm very excited about Battletoads because um, I was actually, like, I'm 32 years old. So when I was born and, like, the first video game system I remember playing, like, it was NES. My cousin had a Sega Genesis, 
and he kind of went the Sega route because then he had a Dreamcast later on. Um, but he had an Atari. So my cousin had an Atari, which I played this much, but I played the shit out of NES. And then we had Super Nintendo. We had 64, PS1, 2, 3, 4. Um, done the Nintendo 64, done the GameCube, had the Wii, the Wii U. I'm going to get a Switch, right? When we get enough donations for the stream, we're going to get a Switch for the stream. And then Xbox, I had a regular Xbox, I had a 360, I have an Xbox One now. But, uh, point is, Battletoads was the shit, and it was really hard, and I still, even with emulators, I can't beat it. Like, it's so hard, the level where you have to, like, go around the maze on the little fucking wheel. Even with an emulator, I can't beat it. It's a tough-ass game. Cyberpunk 2077, I really wanted to like it, but I didn't. I didn't. Re it didn't really wow me like I wanted it to. It looked more to me just like a fucking. I don't know. Crackdown three, I don't care about. You play up. You grew up with Devil May Cry. See, that's the difference, man. It's like if you grow up with it, and you got that nostalgia. Like this Lufia two, I don't give a shit about this game. Uh, maybe I will by the time I, you know, get get a ways into it and beat it or whatever. Jump Force, I didn't give a shit about that. And that's all this this particular article seems to list, but I don't really care about anime or like any of that shit, so But uh what do you, yeah, what was what was the one game that you thought like you're most excited for so far in all of E three that's come out? Cause we still have Sony to go, we still have Nintendo to go, right? Fucking Sony, I bet you they'll announce like I don't know if The Last of Us 2 has been announced, but that was like top 5 game I've ever played in my life, was The Last of Us. If you have not played The Last of Us, you need to play that game. It is so good. Yeah, I played Halo 1 and uh, I didn't beat it, but I played Halo 2 and beat it. Um, but. <coughs> I haven't really been paying attention to Halo ever since. Fight, items, potion. Okay, we're looking. Let's do one. Let's do. Oh, yeah, fuck. He's kind of kicking my butt in. Charge Newt, Escape, Life Potion, Antidote, Magic Drop, Boom. Should we use, try to use a Boomerang on him? Oh, that hits pretty hard, actually. I might actually start it over and just hit him with Boomerangs. We'll see if we get lucky. Oh, no, that was not right. Let's start over. I was, I was just going to die right there. They really flooded the market with those games. Dying Light 2 looked okay. What did they flood the market with? What kind of game? I think we need to heal. Because Halo, they flooded the market. Yeah, I really wanted to, um, my thought, like, on the stream was I would play, I'd get, like, kind of caught up with Halo and get caught up with Gears. Because um, I actually got the Gears, I got the Gears of War, like, that re-release that they did of the first game that came with, it was, like, an HD remaster of Gears of War 1. That then also allows you to do the digital download for 2 and 3 off of the backwards compatibility or whatever. But I haven't done it yet on Gears. Um, I played Gran Turismo. 
growing up. One, two, three, four. Right when Gran Turismo 4 was out, I was playing that. I think the demo for 5 came out. And I decided to trade in all of my Gran Turismo's for the, the most recent Forza, which I think at the time that Gran Turismo 5 was out, I think it was like Forza 3. And I liked it. I dug on it. But... I might be kind of like race car gamed out. Um... Because then Need for Speed came out and I thought it looked really cool and I played Need for Speed for like probably 10 hours and I was done with it. More of a four as a kid. Well, I mean obviously the first like simulator to come out was Gran Turismo. And I liked that versus the other games because like what other games did we have, right? We had like Cruising World and the Cruising USA, shit like that, right? These arcade games. And they were like two arcade. No, I didn't play burnout. I didn't play any burnouts. Okay, we need to save. Wait, we need to heal before we do that fight. There we go. Um, and so it, Gran Turismo was getting to the point where I was like. I can't even, like, switch my wheels and have them look nice on this game. Like, I sh at a bare minimum, I should be able to, like, drop every car a couple inches and put nice wheels on it to where, like, the stance looks right. That's all I want to do to a car, ever. I don't need these wide-body kits. I don't need, like, the crazy, like, little itty-bitty tiny millimeter suspension tweaks. Um. The, uh... Stupid fucking stickers they let you put on cars. I don't care about. Stupid body kits and wings. Like, shit's gotta look really clean, man. It's gotta look really fucking clean for me to like it. That's what I liked about Need for Speed. Actually, was that I was able to get a lot of the cars looking really clean. But then, that was a big reason why I switched over to Forza was because I, re I rented Forza from Blockbuster one time. Forza 3, I think it was. And the customization that I could do the car, to me, was like more basic and more broad and was more tangible and noticeable, like, visually. Even though Gran Turismo, you could go, like, super in-depth with the stuff. The card still pretty much looked the same. You weren't really doing a whole lot. But. I gotta have clean shit, man. I can't be driving around no pile of shit. I, you, Kenzie and I were talking about Grand Theft Auto V. I've got some baller-ass cars in Grand Theft Auto V. Maybe I'll fart around with that a little bit sometime. But, uh. You should see the how I do my cars in Grand Theft Auto V, man. Like, I. You said, me too, ha ha. If that's what you're talking about is like you like kind of clean cars like I like sinister looking cars I like clean looking cars I like unassuming looking cars cars that are stealthy and like fly under the radar that's how I like my car mods to be done to the point where like somebody look at it and be like that's fucking tight dude that's that's nice dude that's that's fucking that's that's good shit and see these big stupid ass wheels and wings and all that dumb stuff My hand hurts. Hand hurts today. Put too many plates on the octagon. On the octagon barbell. Or the hex. The hex barbell. Yeah, slick ass cars. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah.
So what are you doing tonight, Eldon? What you got going on? Well, Tia can cast strong too. Hell yeah. I think I understand what's happening here. Okay, so this is us going back out. And it's saying that if we shoot the arrows in the right direction. Just getting her all lined out, huh? Getting your schedule going. I wish I could have a schedule, man. I just kind of got to stream whenever I can, and sometimes that's easier than others. Come here, little bitch. Fight me, little bitch. Oh, what the fuck is this? Why did that open up? Why did that open up? Where'd you go? It opened up for a second. Trap? Oh, I can reset though. Let's cast that spell. Let's cast reset. Why did that change? <clears throat> and I don't think it wants me to walk on the spikes. It won't even let me walk on the spikes. I was trying to run them. I was trying to walk over them. It won't let me. That placard on the wall says, "If you shoot the order, if you shoot the arrows in the right order." Okay, I'm going to save it right here. Let's see what happens. Oh yeah, see that shit opens up. And it's like right when you kill the last guy. Fuck. Oh, I already got it. What a weird ass puzzle. I didn't... Whatever. Insect crush? Huh. I think it would only open up that wall after I cleared out all the enemies on the screen. But then it would, yeah, it was making some weird noises. I don't know what the fuck it was doing there. Okay, I think now we can come back here, go to the inn, we equip the right shit. Now we have somebody else in our party, so that's pretty cool. Okay, so we are fully rested, and let's go to equip maxim with the strongest. Really? None of these are better than what we we picked up these items and they're okay. Whatever. I 
frying pan. Okay, that's worse. Chopboard's worse. Okay, well, that, that, I don't know, whatever. <sighs> Anyways, so. Are you going to play that Elder Scrolls Blades? Mr. Don Solo? Elder Scrolls 6, well, okay, so we have, let's see. So, so the planet is called Nim, right? That the Elder Scrolls takes place on, but it's all on the continent of Tamriel. And they have Black Marsh, Cyrodiil, Elswire, Hammerfell, High Rock, Morrowind, Skyrim, Somerset Islands, Isles, and Valenwood. I wonder if they'll do like every single um, province, because that's nine fucking games. Okay. As long as they keep adding, like, new things, I don't think people are going to get tired of Elder Scrolls anytime soon. I mean... <sighs> what other game does the fantasy realm better? You know what I mean? 
as far as the single player adventure goes. You know, Final Fantasy has its own shit. I mean, War Warcraft. But War Warcraft has almost gone entirely MMO. Right? I can't think of many other games. That beat Bethesda when it comes to fantasy. You know? Your magic. Swords, bows. Different creatures, crazy environments. Get your, like, your humans and your elves and your orcs and your, you know, obviously multiple different elves, you know, and um, all that shit. The Khajiit. So, yeah, and Witcher actually, Witcher 1 and 2 are, I played Witcher 1 for a couple hours is boring as fuck, and anything that I read on reviews for Witcher 2 was like, it's the same thing, you're just left clicking a million fucking times throughout the entire game. Now, Witcher 3 I've heard is awesome, you know, but... Yeah, Elder Scrolls. Elder Scrolls, I think, is just, like, the closest to that. Like, Warcraft obviously does a great fantasy job with orcs and humans and elves and dwarves and all that shit, too, and goblins. But but Warcraft, I, f I feel that Warcraft has, like, a specific niche, like, its own, like, the way that it's animated and stuff. I feel that the Elder Scrolls games, you could put, like, a different name title on there. They're not, they don't look... <sighs> So I want to make sure I word it right. When you read a fucking book about fantasy, I think what you imagine is what Elder Scrolls does. I mean, not you personally, I, I just mean like a generalization. And I also haven't played Witcher 3 yet. I have it, just haven't played it. Okay, I think I'm gonna go shut off my sprinkler. Watering the lawn for long enough, I think.
Chair stream. Chair stream. Witcher 3? Fuck. Alright. I'll keep that in mind, dude. Because I play like six games at a time, right? Because I'm a dumbass. Yeah, I've heard the game was huge. I remember when it came out, like, what, like, four years ago? I had some buddies that were playing it, and they were like, The game's awesome. It's fucking massive. I can't really imagine a world four times bigger than Fallout. I mean, not, that's we're getting into, like, Just Cause territory. And those Just Cause games, like... The problem is, I think when you make a very big fucking map, just like when you watch PUBG and you watch people just drive around forever, like they, they get, like not getting in fights because the map is just so big. There's like not there's nothing to do. They got their weapons, they got their armor, they're ready to fight, but like they just drive around and can't find nobody. Same thing that happens in you know a game like Just Cause to me was the damn game was too big for its own good. It wasn't fun and exciting. Nothing meant anything. If it was just like the same old shit over and over and over. As I'm fucking grinding levels in an RPG. Something I've done the same old shit a million times. We're gonna try to get T at a level 10. Get T at a level 10, we'll, we'll head out. Oh shit, she fucking died. Let's get in here. Oh, what am I fucking cursed? Remove, remove curses here, I think. Okay, she's level 9, so we're halfway there, because she was 8. We're just trying to get to level 10. She'll only take me another minute or two. We're just keeping a real close eye on her health. Mm, I gotta look up something. Opens tomorrow, 8 a.m. Shit. 
She can make it all the way through that? Wow, okay. She's kind of doing the champ thing right now. Oh, somebody leveled, I think, right there. I don't know if it's Maxim. She's holding on for dear life over here. Okay, 100 more experience and then we're there. Wonder if she can make, can she make it? Without dying. That was not the fucking right ability to be using. What's up, Don Solo? Oh, I think that was it. I think we're level 10. Here we are. Can she make it? Can she make it? She made it. Alright, let's go sleep. Cool, so we got a couple levels. It's always good to get a couple extra levels in an RPG before you head to the next area. Always smart, always smart. Sweet, so the next area, I don't think we have, okay, we already, can't go there, we did everything there. Let's see, what do we got over here? Oh yeah, what's up? What you got? What you, what you got right here? Huh? What you, what you, what you, what you, what you got right here? What's up, dude? Alun's kingdom is further ahead, good luck on your journey. Okay, that's really fucking weird that you're just hanging out to, <laughs> What the fuck ass cave is that? Some dude in there just chilling. Maybe it means something later. Maybe we'll find out more later. Oh my god, that's how I fucked up my Shadowrun save before. Looks like old Zaphod's got his pride hat on. He's still doing his Dungeons and Dragons. They've been in that fucking cathedral right now for a long time. That's a long encounter. They've been in that fucking cathedral for like an hour. But. Yeah. Yeah, she's trying to keep it alive. She just went to bed. She's like, going to bed. It's tough when you only have, like... I think what would be really cool is if they could set it up in a way that... You could show on the stream, like, all five web... Like, whoever the fuck... I don't know how many people are playing. I don't think there's anywhere on the screen that we can see that. But if there's five people playing, it'd be cool if you have all five of their faces. That way, everybody's always doing something. Whoever's talking, you can see they're getting animated, and they're using their role-playing voices, and you can see in their face if they are angry or not. You know? Start fucking wearing... Do you, uh, you get into Dungeons & Dragons at all? You ever, ever played? I've never played either. Um, Celestial sent me this thing. Um, I 
Have you heard of Critical Role? Celestial Theory sent that to me. Uh, I just typed it in the chat. Critical Role. <clears throat> yeah! Money blocks, money, money, money blocks, money blocks. Um, let me try something. Winston, are you still here? Winston Mars, are you still here? Damn it. Um, okay. I was going to try something, but it, ain't, it, it wasn't going to work for me. Sorry to take you from your wrestling and whatever you're doing, bud. I thought I was going to do something, but I can't. Anyways, a critical role is basically they have multiple campaigns that they have done but critical role is a show to dungeons and dragons guy uh um dungeons and dragons game basically and what they did was uh they have a bunch of voice actors so matthew mercer is like a really like really good dungeon master and a really good voice actor and he's the D the dm for this and he leads these voice actors on this like epic fucking quest i mean there's like hundreds of episodes like yeah 141 fucking videos and if you think about like is everyone o only one hour no I'm like hours long 23 million views anyways if you watch their first campaign, it is awesome. I didn't watch the whole the whole thing. But what I did do was Okay. Yeah, 5 fucking hours long. The last couple of videos that I see here Five hours, four hours, two hours, four hours, three hours, three hours, four hours, three hours. So, a hundred and four—it's like five hundred hours of content. Anyways, episode one fifteen is the is the end of the chapter, but episode one fourteen they fight this boss who's who's Vecna is this boss or this creature, this dark lord that is like a popular boss to fight against in D the Dungeons and Dragons realm and they fight Vecna in chapter or episode 114. Now what's cool is is if you go into that episode, it's a 5 hour long episode. I have not watched it. But if you look up, you go online, you can actually find highlights. Type in like critical role Vecna highlights or critical role highlights or something like that. Celestial sent me a good video a while ago of almost, or actually probably, the most climatic point in their whole campaign. No joke, motherfuckers are crying, bro. Okay? That's like, I mean, dude, my, my, my eyes swelled up a little bit today when the Fallout 76 came on. Okay? So... When someone cries over a game, a video game, or a Dungeons & Dragons, or anything like that, like, you know they're into that shit, right? These dudes are fucking crying, bro, and there are, like, gasps. And, like, even, like, the DMs, like, when some shit goes down, okay? And I did not understand it at all. So what you can do is you can find, find a bunch of videos. I mean, hey, 
If you don't give a fuck, you don't give a fuck. But, this is what got me excited in Dungeons & Dragons right here is when Celesto sent me this. Because we're looking, right? We're going to start our own. Me, you, Winston, Kenzie, Celestial, Sick Flint, Zaphod. Like, we're, like, there's like six or seven of us that have all kind of been talking about maybe doing it, right? Uh, and the whole reason that I want to do it is because of this Critical Role video. And Celesto sent me, like, a highlight video um, where, let's see here. Okay. We'll watch this video for a second here. There was a video where this guy... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right here. Okay. I think... Let me, let me watch this shit real quick. Make sure I get the right one. It one box for 10 bucks, which meant it was the most expensive gaming hobby product around at the time, but it's still alive. So Vecmac kills the Circle of Eight. He does it in the event and uh, evil necromancer spellcasters. Furthermore, I basic, you would be dead then. So somebody like Howl of the Wild could just have all his minions attack. Here's a 20-sided die, start rolling. And you're going to repopulate your spell list so I'm not sure. Special thanks to uh, Michael Hogan. Who okay, this Matthew Coville. Oh, right here, right here. This is the fucking video. Before I had made a ruling on it, I had. <coughs> okay, okay, okay. So I'm gonna link some videos. You guys should just check these out. I think they're just neat. Like if you just want to geek out, like I don't give a fuck if you like, you know, if you don't like Dungeons and Dragons or you do like them or whatever. Okay, that right there is the highlight video, but don't watch that first. I'm an asshole, and I shouldn't have sent that to you first. So, critical... Yeah. Okay. So... Hello, everyone, and welcome. Is Keegan here? Yeah, he's running away. On counter spot. Okay. Pretty sure it's this. Okay. All right. Watch this. Watch the second video first. It's a three-minute-long video, and I watched that video like ten times because I was like trying to understand it. And Celestia was trying to explain it to me. And the first video that I linked, watch that because that like really explains it too. From this Matthew Colville is another like really good like uh, D and D guy um, that uh, he's a good DM that really gets into like the creating the stories and everything. Check those out. Like go get lost in the fucking YouTube. <laughs> rabbit hole for like an hour with that shit um because i did and it was awesome like it made me feel things inside like wow you know like this is just a game it's just a game but they're like into it to the point where it elicit it elicits an emotional response and anytime a game whether it's a video game or a pen and paper tabletop game anytime a, a game elicits an emotional response from you i think that they're doing something right Aside from, like, me hating Assassin's Creed. <laughs> Assassin's Creed sucks. Sometimes. 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 We've got a shop. Let's... Hold on. Use a heal. But yeah, if you watch that three minute long video, you probably won't understand what, what went on if you just watch it the first time. You probably won't won't understand it. I, it took me a million times. What? You're not hearing my, my audio? I think it might be on your end, bud. I can see on my mixer I've got desktop audio and mic going to the 
going to the stream. Is your headset charged up or? Can you hear audio if you go check something else? If you watch Zaphod stream, do you have audio? Zaphod's streaming right now. If you watch like a, any kind of a video, do you have audio? Is it the game audio or is it my voice that you don't have? Okay, let's just look around. In a shop. It's a pretty fucking shitty way to get to the throne room, isn't it? What the fuck? <laughs> Ain't no king walking his fat ass up all them stairs like that. That's bullshit. That's a bullshit castle design right there is what that is. Eldon, did you check out Realm Royale yet? Sounds working on it? Oh, okay, you haven't had a chance to. Get on that shit. I'm talking to two motherfuckers right now that are saying they ain't got no chance to install no Realm Royale. I don't know. It's, it's a lot of fun, I think. I like it. with this crown. Okay. A 
little confused by that. You must be wearing some weird armor, huh? Please don't tell the king that I fell asleep. Okay, well this is a dungeon, and I have streamed for an hour, and I have to go to bed at a normal time, so... Uh, I'll probably kill the stream now. Um, should we go raid Zaphod? Let's go raid Zaphod. I think it's very like this. Thanks for hanging out, guys. I appreciate y'all. <clears throat> appreciate you guys. We'll uh, we'll hang out. We'll play some games. We'll talk more about E3 when E3 goes on tomorrow as well. We'll see what happens. Let's go. Let's go say hi to Zaphod. Thanks for hanging out, guys. I appreciate you guys. I do. Appreciate you guys a lot. Later. Money raid. 